Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Helen Campbell, formerly of DG Interpretation of the European Commission. And I'm going to talk to you today about some protests that happened in the summer of 2012 in my country, the UK. Perhaps you can imagine a, a warm summer's day and a field out in the countryside of the UK, somewhere uh, along the uh, south coast, in fact. And on this nice warm summer's day, a crowd appeared and uh, moved into the field, but with a particular purpose in mind, not just to wander around. No, these were 200 people. That's quite a big crowd. And they were there to protest. Protest about GM, genetically modified crops. Actually, they had gone to this particular field with a, a very specific mission to decontaminate a test crop growing in that field. A crop of GM, genetically modified wheat. Now, that is another way of saying that they had gone into the field in order to destroy the crop. But the police were called out and some negotiation took place, discussion between the police and the protesters, who were mainly farmers, and in the end, everybody agreed that they should calm down and so they all decided to have a picnic together with the police included. So that was a relatively happy, or at any way, peaceful end to that particular scene. Shall we look at why the protesters had gone there and what they had in mind? Well, the field is owned by a research company, Rotherham Research and this company is testing a particular strain of wheat. Now, they're carrying out these tests on genetically modified crops in order to find one which will repel aphids. Now, aphids do destroy crops. So the idea here is to find a way of repelling these creatures. What they do in their research work is to add a synthetic gene to the crop. And the effect is that the plants give off a substance, a pheromine, which will warn off those aphids, keep them at bay, in other words. Some plants, in fact, have this naturally built in. They have this gene already. Peppermint is a good example. So, what we're talking about here is a serious experiment, a scientific experiment. If crops are less damaged, this is the reasoning, then they will probably need less pesticide. So, lower use of pesticides, which is usually conceived of as a good thing, and they will also produce greater yields. Another advantage. So, on the whole, the result would be positive for the environment, and indeed, positive for humanity. Ah, but the argument goes, these are protesters who are actually destroying all this work, this scientific research. And so, aren't they just a crowd of vandals? Some say yes, and some say no. Those who say no say that these are mostly farmers, and they've come to protest because they are genuinely worried about this experiment, so-called open field experiment, because it could contaminate the other fields around. Plus, we know that most Europeans are not in favour of genetically modified crops. And GM hasn't actually achieved very much either. Well, is it just all a storm in a teacup, perhaps? Fundamentally, it's probably perfectly all right and acceptable to oppose genetically modified substances, crops, wheat, and the like. But in this particular case, it would do the protesters well to find out what it's all about and get their facts straight first. Wheat is self-pollinating. There is no wind-borne pollen, so 
hardly any risk at all from contamination, plus a lot of security measures. The research company is a non-profit making one. It's a government funded research station in fact. All it's doing is working at improving plant types. The results of the research are to be made available to anyone who wants them free of charge. They won't be patented. So please let us allow this scientific research to be carried out and please let us stop people from going and trampling all over it. It seems to me that the protesters in this particular case really didn't have a case at all. Thank you.